What's up internet, my name is Michael Cook, this is Blue Giant Media, and we're here to connect through gaming. Today we're going to unbox Magic Labyrinth. This is by Dirk Bauman, and it won the 2009 Kinderspiel des Jahres, which is the children game of the year that the uh, critics give out in Germany. We're going to open it up, take a look at what's inside, how the production quality is, look at some of the art, and see how it might appeal to the little ones. So let's jump right in. Magic Labyrinth is a children's game, and it is great for children because it uses memory, which is one of the one of the best ways that uh, you can play games against little kids because they have great memories. Their brains are designed for learning, and they are primed for it. So uh, this game is going to involve going through a maze, and you're going to have your little pawns up on top of here can see and these are punching out very nicely by the way but we're gonna have a whole bunch of pieces under here and what you're gonna do is you're gonna make a little this will sit down here and you're gonna make a little maze with these in this grid and and you'll have these marbles that'll go underneath these big player pawns. So you'll connect it, and it's holding on underneath. You can see there. So then you'll be moving through the maze, trying to learn things. But there. I haven't punched it out, so it didn't roll. <laughs> but as you hit the walls, let me punch that out so it'll do it. If you hit a wall, then your marble falls out. So you're trying to then remember where the walls are so that you can get through the maze. So I'll go ahead and punch everything out and come right back. All right, so I got everything punched out, and I will say there's some of these edges caught a little bit, so I think it's rather ingenious to use a piece of the actual game to double as the punch board, but some of these things, they just, they were difficult to kind of punch out cleanly. So I, I think it's very ingenious, but I just wish that it was punched through just a little bit better. All right, so we have this cloth bag in which there's gonna be all these different tokens. And so each one has got some fun, different you know, art and designs on it that correspond to different symbols on the board. Because as you move around, you're gonna be trying to get to these positions on the board. All right, then we've got a bunch of walls that will get placed in here. So for right now, we'll just stick that underneath and we'll go ahead and stick this underneath as well. All right, and set this on top. I guess we can put the rule book under there too. Set that on top, and you can see that the board, or the box itself, is actually kind of cut down a little bit to give room for everything to, to be able to fall out and you be able to get the marble, so that's kind of nice. Again, everything's kind of uh, multi-purpose in here, it seems like, so very well thought out. And that's what's inside Magic Labyrinth by Dirk Bauman. If you want to know more about this game, look in the description section, you can find a setup, playthrough, review, as well as a link to macronovagames.com where you can buy a whole bunch of great games. If you have any questions about this game, please let me know in the comments section below, and you can also let me know if there's any games that you want to know more about, or if you just want to converse about gaming and connecting to each other through gaming in general. Until next time, I want to thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like what you see, and as always, have a wonderful day.